Hey guys, this video tutorial is going to be on how to create a YouTube layout. A YouTube layout basically looks like you have a sort of YouTube partner banner, except it does not have, have a link applied and it's smaller. And um, you can have some graphics, you can have some background over here, and um, some text, some pretty cool text effects. And uh, what I've done is I've made my uh, descriptions be black so that it actually looks pretty well against the layout. So I actually made it the opacity to 80%. So if there was something, another color, it wouldn't look very good. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to do it. You can do it with either one or of two programs. Either you can use Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks. I'm going to use Adobe Fireworks. If you're good with Photoshop, there is a link to a PSD file with layered things basically like this one. There's a PNG file and we're just going to right click it. The link will be in the description and save image as. And we'll just save it anywhere you want. Then I'll just open my Fireworks. Inside of Fireworks, I'll just click on this file. And in here, you'll have a banner that you can select, a background, description, background, and a little shadow. Okay, that, the first thing we want to is create a background layout. So, what you want to do is take our rectangle tool and just create a rectangle it actually doesn't matter how big it is you can make it as small as you want as big as you want it's going to be the perfect size okay so we just did it now set the stroke to nothing uh, set the width and height to 2000 both times and set whoa, and set the X and Y to 0 this way we have a white rectangle with the exact size with the exact same perfect position so we're just going to go in our layers if it's not there go in windows a window and layers and just drag this rectangle beneath everything else so now we took it beneath the banner and now we have a background that we can apply effects to and colors so what we'll take is well, what I did with my background was basically, you know, styles. I took styles and then I took, where is it, chrome styles, I think. Nope, I think it was dark chrome styles. Yeah, here. I took this striped one, or no, no, that was not mine. But you can just make uh, different ones. I'm going to keep how I made my layout secret. And um, here, when you have it, you can go inside here and we see two colors. We want it to be red or something like that. So just click the black one once and set it to red. The other one we want it to be black. Just an example. And now it looks like this. This is pretty cool, isn't it? And um, it looks like stripes. It's perfect. And uh, yes, we just created a cool little background now we want to go through the next step the next step will be uh, first I'll just check see there's a gradient applied that looks pretty cool but we want to change the banner now so click it once and we'll just take the stroke away again and we will set this to a gradient so we'll just click linear and we'll take linear again and then set the color to red and darker red I mean I just took anything and yes we just created a cool colored uh, layout or banner and we'll just type in our name so select all of it go down in size so that it, it's not too big because you have your with videos, your playlists, and it will be there to fill up some of the space. So we'll just select it all again. And 32. Nah. 
26. 26. I mean, this is not the perfect layout. I just created something real quick. Because I actually don't have that much time. I don't want to create two part videos all the time. And uh, now that we've created this, here you can have a link to whatever you want, really. I mean, FF Combo, well, your site, your slogan. I'll just take my site.co.uk and just move it down. And we just created a banner and a little background layout. I mean, this is basically how you do it. But now I'm just going to show you some pretty cool effects regarding the text. Uh, I like to have some text over here uh, diagonally. So what we'll do is just type in FF combo. No, we'll say something like. Adobe Adobe tutorials something that really takes that person's attention and uh, control A to select all of it and just put up the size I mean if you can do this in Photoshop there's a way of doing this in Photoshop I'm just not that good so I am not using that right now and take the uh, what's it called? The scale tool, hotkey Q, and just touch it in the corner until you see that spinning thing. And then you'll hold in the shift key. Uh, I'll just rotate it 90 degrees. I just made a mistake here. Okay, I've gone about, oh. uh, Adobe tutorials. And uh, take the scale tool, take the spinning thing, and hold in the shift key. And when it comes perfectly up, just move it over here. Now, this is a bit boring color, so we will just find. Uh, I think I took chrome styles, and here it has some pretty cool colors. Let's just take this one. Nah. Also, remember don't take blurry things, it m it's not going to look good on YouTube because of uh, YouTube uh, it actually blurs out your stuff a bit so take a color that's pretty visible this one and here we'll just say general computer tutorials that's actually my type of tutorials as well and take the scale tool shift shift twist it again and move it over there and let's take the blue and here it has a little glow you can remove it down here in the effects drop shadow let's just knock out no no drop shadow uh, select it and minus See that looks a bit better. It won't be blurred out a bit like uh, it will. It pr always does on YouTube. So just find a good color, a good thing, and when you've created your layout, I mean this is just an example of some techniques and creating the rectangle and uh, creating the text and banner and all of that. So now we actually wanted to put it on YouTube. Really simple. You want to go on File, Save As. Also save it as PNG so you can always change something. But we want to save it as a JPEG and we want to call this uh, YouTube Layout. Tut. Tut. Because it's a tutorial and uh, it will be saved in a second. And that's when we just go on Edit Channel channel design go down and where it says background image just click delete upload wait a second for it to upload uh, turn background repeat or repeat background image say no and just update channel and in a second your layout will be looking as you just made it look and uh, yes this is just a little quick tutorial or not actually big and 
a think a bit long tutorial on how to do this. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please comment, rate and subscribe.